The next bag is my seven day bag. Uh, so our bug out bag. And so my main radio, I mentioned before, it's a Yesu VX6R. Uh, and uh, the new thing though is this little antenna. So it's a, a Slim Jim uh, 70 centimeters and two meter band. And the, on the introduction video, that's the, the, the thing I was using. It rolls very nice. It's very small, very compact. I was very surprised about this. Uh, the cable is included in it. So basically I can attach all I have to do is throw that in um, in the air, or like I was saying uh, when I was doing uh, the last time, uh, holding it on it with a uh, broomstick, and as long as it extended and, and it stand, it radiates, and uh, the pattern the patterns or radiations um, are pretty good. And uh, I was able to catch stuff that because uh, uh, when I bought my radio, I was playing already with it without any antenna, and. I put a lot of the repeaters around here and I couldn't catch it just with my uh, my little antenna and now pretty much every time I scan I catch something so basically I'm catching a lot but on my test as well when I notice and I'll talk maybe in another video on, on the power that I'm going to be using my system um, the battery pack that I use for emergency uh, the two batteries that I put on only brings the radio to a 4.2 4.5 volt and so what happened is that I cannot uh, throw uh, big radiation and so because uh, when you transmit obviously you radiate some voltage and uh, some voltage uh, watts watts sorry and um, I couldn't I couldn't reach so I could hear everybody but I couldn't transmit so the radio was good for receiving but not for transmitting so that was good for practicing that uh, so that's my main antenna. Uh, I also got now the uh, Telscan PL660 shortwave radio. Uh, the thing now um, for the antenna, I'm uh, still um, studying that and trying to do my research and stuff. Uh, the big issue that I have here is my um, uh, where I live because basically I'm in uh, kind of a condo so I, it's not like I can put like big antennas and stuff uh, I check and I, I'm allowed to use ham radio there's no uh, laws or uh, rules against that but uh, the problem is where I can put my antenna and it's kind of almost con all concrete all over the place so I'm still playing with it and stuff I have access to a another spot which is a rooftop that I have access but the problem is there's a limitation of uh, how much I can access it because there's a time it's between uh, a certain period of time in the day that I can access it and so I would like to find something that it can do from here because if there would be a disaster or something I would be uh, the, the one of the reason I choose this one heard many people that are getting prepared uh, stuff use that radio it has uh, SSB and uh, air and a uh, whole bunch of uh, pretty much like all the bands and um, it's pretty decent uh, decent price as well so that's a radio that I, I, I bought uh, and uh, now also in my bag what I use is the Lupin 8 gig 8 inch squad uh, uh, Android tablet and so I have a lot of the things inside there uh, so I can use some of the software which I'll talk maybe in another video of what kind of software I have I'm still playing with some of them to see how it works uh, it works most of the time I'm still having some glitch between this and some of the mode of communication that I'm trying to use uh, but I'm in the process of where I'm working but it's pretty good it's it's very light very compact it was uh, on sale as well um, it has um, a, uh, a port so I can put uh, a, a mini uh, USB port uh, mini USB card sorry uh, so um, it uh, permits me to have like uh, so I use it also not just for communication but I got like a little card for my medical books I got a little card for uh, other stuff and stuff um, and then I'm uh, considering uh, maybe the purchase of a scanner, um, especially like during the exercise yesterday. I was trying to listen to a lot of the communication because yesterday again was a, uh, um, actually it was national wise and even I think it was in the States. I'm not quite sure about that, but um, I think it was also in the States and basically it was a 
how ham radio in case of disaster how well could you communicate and stuff and uh, I was able to listen to stuff with my radio but uh, it would have been nice to for example listen how what's going on with the police what's not going on with the fire but now that my radio was on the, the bands for repeaters and listening on that one I was not able to to check everything uh, so a scanner would be a thing but it's more a um, would like than a need to right now at this point so it's on my list and uh, I'll look into it once I have a little bit more of my uh, other gear set up uh, and one thing I'm really waiting to kind of finish my my plan and actually it worked more my plan uh us and er doc is um i was just listening to one of his video uh this week and he's getting a dvd out uh on uh Perpernis communication so uh apparently it should be on his website pretty soon i'm looking forward to that one so i can uh, look at it and uh, give me ideas on uh, maybe uh, what kind of antenna to get and uh, other preparation and stuff like that. So uh, check it out, DVD coming soon on the M3 uh, um, website. And then to finally uh, the two months or, or MCOM base, obviously a lot of those resource uh, uh, hardware now, if I would be in, in uh, so bugging in, uh, would be useful uh, like the test at the beginning was out of my balcony um, but uh, as well I, I'm trying to join the uh, emergency communication team here and so I'm, uh, I'm gonna kind of have a double bag is that my AMCOM bag will become my base bag because uh, so I don't want it too heavy but also uh, a little bit more uh, flexible uh, more um, things for base uh, communication so maybe a better uh, com uh, com uh, computer and things like that uh, so uh, so far what I'm, I'm thinking about and again when I get more into it and start going to meetings and join if I join the team and all that um, will be to get a better uh, uh, better uh, the problem with a lot of the software out there First of all, Apple sucks for stuff, for ham radio, and I'm discovering had the hard way. Um, second, is that uh, a uh, tablet also is limited. There's apps, but there's a lot of software that don't run on the app. So, for example, RMS Express doesn't run on uh, on the uh, on the tablet, but it can't work on the PC. So I'm starting to considering buying a PC just to put my software of of my radio on because uh, I'm spending like hours on trying to figure out how to work this piece of, this piece of gear with this with the software that goes with that and stuff. And it seems to me that it's becoming uh, much easier if I invest just buying a uh, a used uh, portable uh, PC and uh, putting all everything for communication and then at the same time it would become my uh, MCOM uh, um, computer <clears throat> so I could use for that and uh, the, the bag that was looking into it that probably I would keep like at the ba the base and again to become my MCOM is a bag that I have here at the Mountain Equipment Co-op and this is what it is so it can basically carry like a suitcase um, it can also sling like a little bit like a, messen a messenger bag and then it can also be carried like this as a backpack so I find it has a lot of uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, non non technical uh, tactical so again if I just go on the street with that uh, if I want to set up a, a base somewhere um, uh, it's uh, it's max so it's quality which is uh, for those that uh, lives in the States it's like REI but uh, on the Canadian side um, it can be carried as a backpack and stuff so I'm considering a bag that would be similar like this that basically would have everything uh, for base like uh, I'll talk a little bit and my, in the next of my series on uh, batteries and recharging and uh, solar panels and stuff and basically everything would kind of fit in that and it would be a bag just for communication so that again would be for MCOM but when I'm 
here and there's a disaster or something then I can set up all my communication from from the base so it becomes my two months bag as well anyway that was my little um, uh, presentation and my little introduction to my series on uh, ham radios and communication plan and I'll talk to you soon